Now that you have learned how to create nodes, in this lesson, you will learn how to create relationships between nodes in the graph. The cipher clause you use to create relationships is merge, just as you did for nodes. When you create a relationship, you must have references to two existing nodes. Suppose our graph has a person node for Tom Hanks and a movie node for the movie Apollo 13. We use the match clause to retrieve the person node for Tom Hanks that we reference with the variable P. Then we use the match clause to retrieve the movie node for Apollo 13 that we reference with the variable M. Then we can use the merge clause to create the relationship from the Tom Hanks node to the Apollo 13 node. Notice that we must specify the relationship type when we create the relationship. In this example, we explicitly specify the direction of the relationship. Suppose our graph contained these two nodes and the relationship. You can use the merge clause to create a node with a reference M, just like you have a reference to the person node P. With these two references, we can add another node for the movie Forrest Gump and create the relationship between the found person node and the newly created movie node. When this cipher code executes, it creates a node and a relationship. Let's look at creating relationships in action. Here is code where we retrieve the person node for Michael Caine and the node for the movie, The Dark Knight. This merge clause will create the acted in relationship between these two nodes. After we execute the cipher code, we can verify that relationship exists in the graph. Notice that in this query, you do not have to specify a direction for the relationship. If we were to specify the direction of the relationship as follows, nothing is returned because the relationship in that direction does not exist in the graph. You can execute multiple merge clauses to create nodes and their respective relationships. If these two nodes and the relationship do not exist in the graph, they are created. Notice that in this example, we do not specify a direction when we created the relationship. By default, the graph engine will create the relationship using the left to right direction it is always a best practice to specify the direction of the relationship when you create it. And here we can confirm the direction of the relationship that was created. You can even create two nodes and the relationship in a single merge clause, but it is important that you are certain that the two nodes either do not exist or both exist. We can execute this code multiple times and it will not create any new nodes or relationships. In the next challenge, you will create a relationship between two existing nodes in the graph. This concludes our look at how to create relationships in the graph.